bullying and cyberbullying and what the social media has become. Cyberbullying has been corrupting everything. On social media, when kids take a picture of selfies or when kids try to fit in, they get rejected, they get hurt, they get cyberbullied from these comments, from these haters, from this hatred that we live in this world. This twisted domestic world where judgment is with outer beauty. There are kids out there who are crying and feeling sad and scared and alone. When they get cyberbullied on Twitter or on Facebook, on Instagram, with every word comes a hurtful meaning into someone's heart. It strikes within that soul, that part of them. And from these hideous, monstrous cyberbullies, we need to make a stand. When kids go to their schools, they get rejected, they get hurt from all these people that say, you, you can't fit in, stop trying to fit in, you are ugly and fat. This is cyberbullying going on, my dreamers. We need to make a stand. We need to be who we are and build a better world, build a better society. So keep fighting what you're doing. Keep fighting a fight. There are kids who are now being so scared from that cyberbullying that they just hide in their breaks during school hoping that the bully or hater does not come towards them and give them so much negativity. We need to strike back. We need to strike with words, not, never, violence. Only if caution. Only in protection. Not hurtful or striking back, but with words. Bullying and cyberbullying, it's going far too hard. The social media is breaking what we are, what we live in America. What we do. We're about freedom of speech, but are we truly about positivity and freedom of will and never judgment? We are living in a corrupt, negative social media. So many kids are being bullied right now. Hundreds and thousands of kids. And some of them might go home with a knife on with a knife and committing suicide to do a rope. We need to make a stand and build a better society. We need to commit ourselves to giving hope. Giving those who feel scared, lost, and alone. If you are listening to this, spread kindness, not fear. Giving credit also to Purple Skies who inspired me to create this video against bullying and against cyberbullying and how much it hurts.